Tell me you're done with the water. A grandma shaving kid from a suitcase. Grab your own damn shaving Christ kit. sake, Frank, how much can a football cost? I think footballs are growing on the thin air. So you get a few simoleons from the starch king. Hey, Dodge, I feel hot to you. No more than the next man. Well, FIFA runs in my family, you know? Everything runs well, in your family, Ralph, 22, except your feet. Except the 14. Look what you make it. Not to start again. <laughs> hey, it's no big joke. You'll make us miss a train to Milwaukee. Milwaukee? What about Akron? Akron team photos day before yesterday. We're going to play Milwaukee instead. Yeah, I can't go to Milwaukee. I got a wrestling match tonight. So get out of it. Pays 100 bucks. We'll see you when you get back. Yeah, that's OK. I got this kid coming. The high school kid from Penrose? Yeah. He can only practice after class, but wait till you see him. When's he coming? He's going to meet us at the Waterford Station when the train stops. Hey, I got an extra fin coming my way. I just you lost that last game. I did not. Dodge, didn't I have this tooth today when we started the game? Surely I learned long ago never to stare directly into your face. If you only lost teeth, I'll give you the time. If I had it, it wouldn't be lost. Ready, Suz? Yeah. Yeah, shoot. The Duluth Bulldogs lost to the Toledo Bullets today in a dirty game of professional league football, where a new and dangerous element has been creeping in. Rules. Goddamn rules. The lone moment of glory came to the quarter. Sorry, Joe. Nice hat, Lexi. Thanks, I just bought it. Listen, can you get me in a room with Hank Kelly at the comptroller's desk? He won't talk to reporters in fancy hats. Hey, Lexi, you going hunting? It's a very expensive hat. Your whole year's salary. Harvey wants to see you in his office. I'd take that Mac off before you go in there. You would, would you? He might think there's an air raid. Oh, good boys, complete sentences. Next week, let's try paragraphs. Say, Pete, see about Hank Kelly, will ya? He doesn't talk to reporters. Say, Harvey. Nice pinata. Oh, don't you, Sarge. Oh, I'll be chair. Best seat in the house. Who are you, Sarge? Max Steiner, lieutenant. Hmm. Well, I see, I got one for you. You ever hear of Carter Rutherford, the bullet? Football boy? War hero football boy? Ooh, good looking war hero football boy. Took time out of college to fight the war. Got a whole platoon of Jerry's to surrender. Just dropped their guns and gave up from the sound of his voice. You gotta hire him. Get rid of this pack of geniuses. We're gonna do a story on him. What's your angle? It ain't true. It's all a crock. Kids doing radio shows and advertisements. He's hired a promoter named C.C. Frazier to put himself on the cover of every magazine. Ooh, I like those razors. Sure, who doesn't? So what's the story, Mac? I served with him. I was there in the Argonne. He ain't no hero. You're gonna meet with Carter and CeCe. He's gonna be in town next month. And you're gonna do a story on the virtues of the bullet. The many virtues. And then we're gonna break the myth of the war hero bullet. Listen, you got fellas who'd be perfect for this. Three knickerbockers out there, for instance, who trade their high school diplomas for a crack at it. It's not my kind of story. Lexi. C.C. Frazier wants the Chicago Tribune to do a story on his protege. We're gonna oblige him, and you're gonna do it. Can I talk to you alone for a minute? Captain, would you excuse us? It's Lieutenant. I'll wait in the hall. <clears throat> Thanks, Lieutenant. Why me? Because it's a big story and you're the best. Thought you were gonna say it's because I have the best legs in the office. No, Joe does. Okay, Harvey, I'll make you a deal. If I throw some facts together about this bombshell, Bullets. bullet, and we chop down his apple tree, you get the assistant editor's desk. Okay, Chief. You get Mac's story, and I'll get you your bullet. The low moment of glory came in the fourth quarter when Jimmy Dodd Connolly lateral to Bex Davis, who ran through a trio of open field tackles and into the dual loop end zone. And whereas the highly disputed contest will go down in the books as a Toledo victory. The hearts and minds of all who witnessed the classic gridiron confrontation were clearly won by the Doodle yeah. Bulldogs. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Awfully good, Suds. Sure is a great thing to read, Suds. When the muse strikes, who am I to read? <laughs> it's almost like you were playing the game yourself. What I try to achieve in my prose is a sense of flight. Now that's a crowd, ain't it, Dodge? Sure is. We didn't have crowds like that when I was in school. 
You went to college? College is. You to be meeting our newest player. This is Big Gus Schiller from Penrose High School. Hi, how you doing? How's it going? So you're in high school, are you? Yeah. Got held back, did you? No. What position you play in high school? Kicker. What Kicker? What the hell? Coach thought it'd be the best position for me. Who's your coach? Math teacher. Huddle up. You can't fold. They're, They're broke is what? Like Akron. No money, no team. We're broke, too. We're broke now? Our season just started. Look, we're broke, I'm telling you. You got no money to pay salaries, no money to buy train tickets, no money to rent a field, then you're broke. It's over, Dodge. It's time to pack it up and go home. Starch King's going to sell us 51% of the team as soon as he can. What's gonna happen to these guys? 